This is the best locked on stabilization effect in DaVinci Resolve. Here I have a few clips that I filmed the other day. And as you can see, a lot of these clips have somewhat of a point of focus in the middle of the clip. It doesn't have to be perfect. And this is why this locked on effect is so effective. So the first thing you wanna do is come to your first clip that you wanna do the effect on. I'm going to quickly come over here to the color page and add a power grade. Then I'm gonna hop back to the edit page. I'm going to scroll through the clip to the point where I wanna speed ramp and hold down command and push R to bring up the retiming. Then click on the drop down arrow and add a speed point. I'm going to move a few frames forward, drop down and add a speed point. Now this footage was shot at 60 frames per second. So I'm going to come to the point where I want the slow motion to be and click on the drop down arrow and select 50%. And that's because my timeline is 29.97 frames per second. So then I'm going to right click on the clip, retime curve, click on this drop down arrow and select retime speed. I'm going to click on both of these points and round them out. Then what you wanna do is click on the top left hand corner and drag this up so you create a really quick speed ramp. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. So once you've got your speed ramp where you want it to be, you can right click on the clip and select new fusion clip. Go into fusion, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in planar tracker. Select the planar tracker. So what I wanna do is track this wheel. So I'm going to click around it. It doesn't have to be this big. It can be smaller. It could be any point of interest. Then go ahead and click set. Then under motion type, you wanna click on the drop down arrow and select translation. Now, what I like to do is track frame by frame because sometimes when you click track all the way to the end, the tracker will kind of like not do as well of a track. Then come to the frame where you started the track and you can click backwards and track all the way to the beginning of the clip. Now, it doesn't matter where you start your track. I just typically like to start in the middle. Now, once you're done tracking the entire clip, what you can do is come up here to the operation mode, click on the drop down menu and click steady. So then what you can do is scroll through the frame and you can see that this pattern behind kind of shows through. So in order to fix that, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in transform, then push enter. Go ahead and just turn up the transform until that disappears. And you may need to scroll through your entire clip just to make sure that it doesn't show at any point. Play it through, make sure it looks good. Now I'm going to repeat this for the next two clips. Again, I'm just selecting the point of interest that I want to track making sure that the entire frame is filled with the clip. Now we have these three clips that look awesome. If you guys are wondering how I did like the boomerang effect, what you can do is click on a clip, hold down option and bring it up to copy it, right click on it, select new compound clip, select create, then right click on it, click on change clip speed, then select reverse speed and click change. Drag it halfway through, and now you have this boomerang effect and you can do it to the next clip as well. Now there's one more last step to making this look super buttery smooth. So make sure to watch this video right here. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in my next one.